Hey guys, and welcome to the 8.11 patch. And we're going to take a look at some of the improvements they've made here in the garage. At first, we have this, where we used to have to go and right click on all of these center barracks, center barracks. As you can see here, we have to do this. We have to go in here and put them in there one by one. With XVM, we could right click and do this but uh, with Wargaming, they have now done this, where you can click send all to barracks. But this, even though I have fought in this vehicle, it doesn't recognize it as my crew. You still have to go in here and do this. As we can see here, service record, it's not that good, but uh, I have fought in this, and it is the only crew on this tank. But let's look at this retrain crew. Retrain all crew members at once. This was also a big chore to do, but you can now just click here and every single crew member is retrained. Again, let's just do that to 100%. Boop, and there we go. Now, there is one flaw though, and that has to do with premium tanks and when you have more crew slots than crew members and we're going to see here i've taken the crew from the t1 and i'm now going to put it in here i can't still can't put that in i would really like a put crew any crew in here any fitting crew but we're just going to put this guy in here and then we have this dude at 50 percent now i'm going to click here and click retrain but when i click up here it now takes and retrains every single crew member of the tank and it costs 600 gold. That is a big, big mistake by Wargaming because you're only retraining one crew member. You're not training all of them. So uh, they have to, uh, to fix that because that would be quite disastrous and it would cost quite a lot of gold for people if uh, that was the case on the live server. Inside the tech trees, you now have a display in garage button. So we can see here, when we click it, we are taken directly to the tank inside the garage. I like that because when I reach such something, I can just click on this button instead of having going all the way up to the garage. It's not a chore, but it's still an option. And you can now click on any tank in your garage or in the tech tree and go straight to it instead of having to find it at the bottom. And then we have a couple of settings, and that is one to disable the battle chat. It'll only be disabled in random battles, and the only thing that's going to be disabled is chat. Platoon chat is not disabled. Player can still see special commands like affirmative, defend base, help, and stuff like that. But you won't see any of the CMKs and Polish here, Netherland here, or all the people just wanting to chat and wishing you grenade launcher high flyer. I don't know why people write that. Grenade launcher high flyer? I don't know why they do that, but they do that a lot. But remember that this also means that you won't be able to get any hints or tips from players playing with you. Now there's also this show in post-mortem mode, the vehicle that destroyed you. As you remember, when you get killed, you are instantly snapped to the tank that just killed you. And um, I actually like to have this off because sometimes I like to see the situation I was in and not just get stuck on this one. There's also the confrontation button up here, which is the new nation versus nation. And for now, I think I'm going to uh, not play with that one because it just seems a little bit too broken and then the last thing there is is the chat can now be scrolled through to check on uh, older messages if someone wrote something important or something like that that's it guys and uh, map videos are coming up next